Ever since discovering Suckless software, I've been obsessed with this idea of less code. And I've seen the huge benefits for me of managing complexity. You know, at work, people talk about, how do we make our system more reliable? The answer is simple to me. You reduce, you manage complexity, you make the code, I don't know, a certain, uh, with Suckless, they like say 2,000 lines of code and they stick to that. And then they maintain this like stable sort of around 2000. It's like, it's like your weight, for example. You're like, you wanna be, I don't know, 90 kilograms and just maintain that weight. Ideally, you don't start, you know, from 200 kilos, cause that's really unhealthy, but you know, a, a healthy weight for the particular project in mind, particular person perhaps. Of course, it's a bad analogy, Source lines of code is not that is has got its problems, but I'm just looking for trends. I'm just looking for something that's getting us towards managing complexity. So seven years ago, I wrote this little I don't know bash script to graph DWM, and um, I had the thought that it's kind of difficult to sort of peer into this graph. So I've long wanting to sort of like redo it, and I found some time last weekend to do it. So this is the same graph, but in a more modern JavaScripty thing. And the thing that really sets us apart now is that you can drill in. I'm just using my mouse here. Like for example, there was a big dip here. Let's have a let's have a look a look see here. And most importantly is that when I click that sort of dot, when I click the dot, this is the big thing I found with every graphing thing that I've ever played with. It's difficult to get the values back into the clipboard or open up a page or something. So now if you click that, that, that hash 8p5, that should be in the clipboard. You can just check on the console if you're, if you're very interested. And then you can use a program like TIG and then you can go uh, go to and, and, and paste in that, that commit and you can see that like, that like uh, Ansem back in 2006 did a major refactor and you know uh, added 95 lines of code, removed 285 great it's going down so so the idea with my latest um charting thing which you point your git repository to is just to highlight refactors highlight code reductions highlight good behavior this is why i call it less hero i just want to kind of celebrate people who who took the time and effort to make the code um I mean, that's where I am at work. I mean, I'm, we're living through the dark ages with microservices and Kubernetes and <laughs> unbelievable complexity. But nonetheless, I'm doing my little bit to sort of like, like learn uh, for myself and encourage uh, my colleagues to say, hey, I noticed that you managed to remove some code here. Like, great job. But still, the trajectory is pretty mad. But anyway... I hope you get the point of this project. I hope you find that useful. Um, I welcome contributions. Check out, um, you know, GitHub, Kai Hendry, Less Hero. Maybe I'll rename it. I'm, I kind of want it to be kind of like a fun Weight Watchers type thing, you know. But at the same time, I do want to encourage those people that took the time to remove code. Anyway, that's just the idea. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, comment below and give the video a like. Bye, guys.